Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Again in this godforsaken swamp in the middle of August to try to bring some good content to you guys for TFB TV because I love you. So today on TFB TV, I've got the Magpul D60 60 round drum for the Stanag compatible magazine platforms, typically the AR-15. So this is a 60 round magazine. It holds 60 rounds of 223 or 556. According to Magpul, this does not work with 300 blackout. I thought the same thing you guys did. It only works with 223 or 556. Now you guys know that Magpul's on point. They design great products. They test them well. And by the time they hit the market, they're usually flawless. So far, this D60 mag is looking pretty good. I haven't shot it yet, but I loaded it this morning. Now I'll tell you this, loading it is a bit of a pain in the ass. You have a loading lever and you almost every round, pretty much every round, you gotta cycle this thing to stack all of the rounds that you've already loaded back into the drum and uh, give yourself a little space to work whenever you're loading them. Round down, lever, new round, lever, new round, lever, every time. So it's a little painstaking. Uh, you could probably load five or six standard AR magazines in, it, in the time it takes to load one D60. But it's pretty lightweight, and like I said, with the design, they did a great job. This thing, it, it's really no longer than, I mean, it is the exact height, I would say, of a Magpul PMAG or even any Stainag GI AR-15 magazine, about seven inches tall, I would say. So that's not gonna affect you any more than a 30 round magazine would whenever you go prone. And that's a big consideration whenever you're going to explore options that are greater than 30 rounds, like the 40 round magazines and the, uh, like the Surefire 60 rounds. Uh, you're, you're going to get a little bit more depth and that's gonna interfere with your shooting prone. Fortunately, Magpul circumvents that problem with the height of the D60. Very well thought out design. It's also easy to disassemble. You just need a flathead screwdriver, cover comes off, you can disassemble it and clean it. There's also this translucent window on the back where you can see uh, 10 to 60 rounds. As I told you earlier, I paid $125 of my own money for this thing. Magpul didn't send it to me. So really the first thing you need to ask yourself is, do I really need this? <laughs> I mean, of course, uh, it's fun to have, it's cool to have, and that's mainly why I got it. Um, but tactically speaking, and economically speaking, is this really much better than two 30 round magazines and a mag coupler? I think for $125, you could probably get um, at least eight good magazines and four couplers uh, for the price of one D60. So other than just having this for shits and gigs, who needs the Magpul D60 instead of just two 30 round magazines and a coupler? I mean, I guess it would be nice. First of all, I mean, you do eliminate a reload. That's really the main benefit here is you eliminate a reload. Uh, but I think you guys that are buying like those new LMGs that are coming out, like the SAW, the M249S, even the semi-automatic version, I guess it would definitely look a lot cooler with this, but it'd probably work a lot better. Uh, with the D60 instead of using lame ass 30 round magazine. But as Magpul phrases it, why do you need it? They, I think their specific words are, uh, it's got the same capacity as two 30 round Stanag mags without having to make that critical reload. Their words, critical reload. And I could see that. And of course the Magpul D60 is going to be compatible with just about every rifle that accepts a Stanag magazine. Magpul also says that this is compatible with uh, devices such as uh, stripper clips, Lulas, so on for easier loading. Uh, I didn't try that, but you know, if somebody else does, let me know how it worked for you. Magpul says the D60 can be left loaded for as long as you need to. It's designed specifically to still be reliable after being left fully loaded for a long period of time. Magpul also says that you can insert this uh, the D60 drum easily on a closed bolt. As far as your numbers go, it weighs 20 ounces with the dust cover and it weighs 46 ounces completely loaded. It's 7.4 inches tall and 4.1 inches wide. So you can see it's a little bit wider than if you had 
uh, two 30 round magazines and presumably a mag coupler between them. Uh, but it is, as I mentioned, about the same height. Uh, really, I, I do want to say I, I think that Magpul did a great job of sizing this thing. It really is compact for being a drum. It really is lightweight. So, uh, you know, if money were no object, uh, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to have a bunch of these instead of uh, 30 round magazines with a coupler. But really, and, and I'll tell you, no matter how well this thing performs today, that's what you have to ask yourself. Is it worth it to me uh, to spend $125 on a D60 instead of getting two $10 30 round magazines and you know $5 mag coupler. Anyways, I'm gonna take this thing out, give it a shot, do a couple mag dumps through it, and hopefully it is as reliable as the rest of Magpul's products. Let's give it a shot. All right guys, I'm gonna test out this Magpul D60 drum with this FN M4. As I mentioned, the D60 is loaded with 40 rounds of Wolf steel cased ammo, and it's got 20 rounds of Ventura munitions, their house brand 55 grain. So let's take a dump. Also, I wanna note, bolts closed. Look at that, that, that is amazing. This D60 just perfectly seats. Uh, wow, I mean, more affirmatively seated than a 30 round Stainag magazine would. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, and there it is. Woo! Mmm. So I guess in conclusion, as with all things Magpul, this D60 seems like a well-designed and a functioning product. What you have to ask yourself is what we were talking about earlier. That is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to you to spend $125 to eliminate what Magpul calls that one critical magazine change? I don't know. Uh, that you really have to assess that for yourself. But I'll tell you this, if you guys just want one of these just for fun or just to have one, I wouldn't hesitate. I mean, this thing ran well. I'm really impressed with it. It feels good. Uh, it looks good. And apparently it works real good too. So anyways, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate your watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to Ventura Munitions, keeping this thing full. And uh, I will see you next week. Thanks.